necessary tools high. Man, I'm going to water house, you know, so. The street of Kingston taught me a lot before I moved to Portmore. We're going to call about high school, so. We mix back with the next set of people now, and we gain the intellect and the knowledge. So, it's like, we have everything. We have a balance of intelligence, and we have a balance of experience. So right now, we can bring to Jamaica people, and them vibe with it, and them feel it, like, real. Vibes Cartel emerged in 2002, lacking neither style nor self-confidence. When we used to go to Calabar, you know, I remember them used to play really much. Lunchtime and them things, they from decks and them things, you see. And one of them said, Cartel, one of them said, Addy, because them tell them, Addy, you know. I said, Addy, have it. And I said, all right. I start working with it, and from them I start with King Jam is true, that I run a water house. I start vice and start building my song again. Hey, what you mean to you, you and me? K-I-S-S-I-N-T then. Fans got the picture, often X-rated, sometimes violent, but always real, as the kids might say. If I say cartel, it's done real, you know, so it no need to say nothing more. Even when I commercialize my lyrics, it have that realness. It's not too extra hype. It can be related by everybody. Because Mr. Colgan is a hot Guinness. Straight. I never said more words, I never said Hennessy. So I build my tunes that many can hear and many see. You see what I say? say that was the real thing. We just keep it real straight, yeah. Cartel sounded fresh, had a different flavor. Very dancehall, but also a little hip-hop. My style is like an unorthodox style. It's a new millennium dancehall. It's, it's dancehall 2K. Timeless. Time. Just me a slip to the time. Still in a baby, I just want to close your eyes and imagine that you're with me on a long island of paradise. I don't really limit myself to, to like the three topics that most DJs limit themselves to. I be like a girl tune, I be like a gun tune, I be like a reality tune. Vibes Cartel does anything that comes to mind that does express it. Hey, time for the bumps, that's for the divine rubber dubby, bubble like so for the mix, melody, eye bloody, this and me roots like for the, no bigger, not for the. Early on, the DJ projected a gangster image. I associate myself with music business, but hear me I say, you see my part of the music, I deal with the thugs, them, I don't know cartel, I deal with thugs, but a man for no say differently, music is music and real life is real life. Because you see Sylvester Stallone for your shot in a show, not for your shot a road. So if you know that, you can't fight that. You come like movie, you have R-rated movie. If you don't like an R-rated movie, well, a cartoon. <laughs> Early on also, Cartel identified with Bounty Killer, the DJ notorious for his bad-tempered bus stops with other DJs. Anything when DJ, you leave it. Not the violence, you know. You know, say not everything you have impersonated. You have someone going to impersonate. Just get up and say, well, I'm going to be a gun tune, I'm going to be a girl tune, I'm going to be a reality tune. No, I'm going to say it, but you're going for your vibes. This is a new millennium, a different thing I'm going. Marshall and God, they're going to create a song. And when you see your silly cover, see your silly run. I just the pressure with your mind, we are going to put it on. In the talk and I, in the back of the talk and I, talk my life. Hanging out with Wayne Marshall, The Warlord and Don Corleone, Cartel racked up hits in 2002. New millennium represent me in terms of the style, my style. It represent me as the artist. And it represents the audience right now with inner reggae music and the whole impact of reggae music I get worldwide. So, New Millennium, it is the right song at the right time. Five oak young come lock it up. So, if that's the pond, you would block it up. If I'm lock it up, if I'm pop it up. An overflow crowd at Cartel's birthday bash in 2003, the DJ counted among the newly formed Bounty Killer led Alliance. Killer the man, back at the Alliance, he's the CEO, he's the executive. I'm the chairman. Yeah, man. More hits flow in 2003. As usual, Cartel is rarely at a loss for words. Music is just expression. I just listen to what people say in the street. My friends, things around me, I watch the news, you know what I mean? I just absorb everything. And at night, I just write. Meanwhile, there are rumblings within the alliance. Well, me forgot on Bounty Killer tour, and you know what I mean? I look at things up now, we never really go so. People are speculating, but you don't know, you see it. Much love to the killer, you see it. With Sting looming, Supreme Promotions boss Isaiah Leng boosts the clash credentials of his favorite DJ. Who would your ideal clash candidates be at Sting 2003? Ninja man with anybody. If someone wants to die, the best place to go is on stage of Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? If an artist wants to be killed, you can come. The best place to be is on stage beside Vibes Cartel. Cartel! All right! There are other dancehall dates on the concert calendar, but for the tough talkers and tightrope walkers, Sting is it. <laughs> Cartel has a date with Destiny. In the meantime, the DJ drops his debut album up to the time. No matter the method of operation or the topics that are portrayed on the album, it all comes around to lyrics. So the album is all about lyrics. I overheard people saying Bounty and Cartel mash up. Bounty shows up at Cartel's album launch, signaling a patching up of differences. Bounty killer and Cartel, his father and son, brother and cousin, nephew, anything you want to call it. So that quells all the issues that you brought up in the last interview. So this ship is sailing good as usual. It ain't gonna sink anytime now. Alliance, you know, I told them. Yeah, you think me easy? You are happy. You want to be easy. Take the things and you take the money too. So take 
In the lead-up to Sting, Cartel has the top track. It's Cartel in sexually explicit mode. I don't necessarily know if I even like the tech, tech girl. You think it's easy? However, you can't go to a play out and don't play because you'll be considered to have flopped. Come Sting, showgoers are poised for a Cartel Ninja Man showdown. They get one and more. Now you have the chance. for Ninja Man didn't stand a chance against the hungry newcomer, but Mr. Up to the Time gets the blame for taking things too far. Whenever time an artist calls another artist's name, that means you call him to stage, you invite him for a competition. You never invite him for lick him down your friend them with buckle. You never I invite him for a gang war. And all them artists here, Mr. Leng must know who he put on his show because this incident this morning has spoiled Sting reputation very, very bad. In the Sting aftermath, the stakes rise dangerously for Cartel. He's detained and charged with possession of ammo. Freed from jail, a subdued Cartel declares his innocence but shoulders his share of the blame for Sting. My wife's Cartel apologizes to the fans and to the people of Jamaica, to people who really wanted the best for dance and music. You know what I mean? Because as I said, it's really a scare on the face of the dance and music and right now you know, as much damage control as possible is really needed sorry damage control and i mean <clears throat> is needed right now but vice cartel is willing to put his all into gaining but the respect and admiration of the fans that i had and even fans that i didn't have dance hall detractors point to sting as proof they were right all along the songs glorify a certain type of response if a man diss a woman you must not take it if a man diss you, you must not take it. In other words, it encourages intolerance. It encourages antagonism. Despite the price of chasing real bad man status getting ever steeper, Cartel bounces back early in 2004, sounding upbeat and defiant. Dancehall music is all about having a lot of songs at any given time, you know what I mean? That's the genre of dancehall music, if one wants to maintain a level of hotness. A flavor for the girl, them, you know what I mean? Entertainment, a little sex, a little gynecology, you know what I mean? And a little Shakespeare and that's it. Not content with besting Ninja Man at Jamworld, he now trains his sights on a new opponent. Let's get something straight now. We are boy, we have a long time. After staying, Cartel continues to court trouble in his search for the hardcore heavyweight title. The skinny fast talker from Portmore baits fellow DJ Assassin at every opportunity, but Assassin doesn't bite. His fear and his intelligence is telling him to stay away from this one. You know what I mean? For the better and the benefit of his career. <laughs> Throwing words is his specialty, but while Assassin takes evasive action, his red square pal Spraga Benz takes up the gauntlet. Both DJs go for the jugular, taking their lyrical duel into the recording studio. In the move, lean pan Assassin. You know, we are Assassin, the duet, Martin Bridgen. And come like him just this year, so we are never too like that. But then leave them to the moon, cause assassin done, me and assassin done reason for it. And I'm gonna do him one thing, we're not business with the man right now. This program is as a elder in the business, you know what I mean? Took it upon himself to really um, intervene in, in, in a clash between two young artists, you know what I mean? We were don't involved in a foul fight. While other DJs like Beanie Man and Bounty Killer do lucrative endorsement deals, corporate Jamaica boycotts cartel. They know that I can sell their products, but you know the whole corporate image and the whole thing that they have to maintain. They say vibes cartel, break that image at stake. But to his fans, cartel is more X-rated poet than warmongering thug. I read a lot of books. I just finished reading the Da Vinci Code with, um, the other day. And I mean, it's a book about um, Freemasonry and, you know I mean, secret societies all over the world. You know I mean? It's a good book, you know I mean? I read all kind of books. I read comic. You know I mean? We watch cartoon, we watch Discovery Channel, we watch History Channel. We watch HBO, we watch BET. We live in a, we live in a, we live in a information age, internet, you know what I mean? So everything is just at your fingertips. So why not grasp it? A lot, of, a lot of my fans, I know that I send them into the dictionary a lot because some words that I use, I know they have to go in the dictionary for those words. So I, I encourage my fans even to, to read and seek knowledge. If they, wanna, if, they wanna, if they wanna be a top DJ like Vibes Cartel and spit in all these gangster lyrics and all these X-rated lyrics, if you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, Vibes Cartel could have been a journalist like the great Anthony Miller. I could have been a pilot, you know what I mean? It's just I chose this line. You know what I mean? So you still need up here. Still ahead, Cartel breaks with the Alliance and bad vibes with Mavado.
the life we live, it all them all. That's why them fight get a youth more and more, but remember... Spell psychological, don't guess what's 13% of familiar in the US. Don't said girl, can't get a happiness if a pretty miss alone, you're a dopey princess. That, that song really came about because I was listening to a, a talk show one morning and I heard them really, you know what I mean, lashing out and vibes cartel and, and blaming me for, for all the, the, the explicit activities of the kids on the school bus, you know what I mean? Clutching a notebook crammed with lyrics, Vibes Cartel makes the rounds, recording as usual at breakneck speed. This song was recorded at our school bus studio when Roach had the rhythm and he said he wanted a song talking about, you know what I mean? The suffering of poor people in the inner city community. Sidekick Roach, the first of many close associates, abruptly cut loose. When the dad said, go, what am I going to do? Roach, everything except dead people are real. Yeah, me, I said, why are you nice? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the done here West Braga say already. So the community where we grow up, where we grow up in, a, we not for trust a nigga. Smile up in your face and behind your back, them pull the trigger. So I mean, I want no friend from your you. So much good, you know, because you don't know, you know, everybody knew them 15 minutes of fame and he got his. You know, we are famous for a lifetime, and that's all I got to say. Cartel a hit machine, but also trouble magnet. Closer ties with Beanie Man puts Cartel at odds with the alliance, with which the DJ breaks before embarking on a long-running feud with bounty killer loyalist Mavado. Okay, you know, we never run from a challenge, never run from a clash, you know. Vibes Cartel is the war angel, and I always tell people these things in interviews, that I love clashing musically, lyrically. That's how I grew up listening to Ninja Man, Shabba, Super Cat, Ninja Man, Flogan, Red Dragon. You know what I mean? All clashing Cabra, Mad Cabra from Portmore. So clashing for Vibes Cartel is fun, and I love it. But in these latter days now, the clash didn't get too serious because artists letting their egos, you know what I mean, get the better of them. At the same time, Cartel's Portmore Empire also taking shape. Black Rhino, Deborah Black and Sean Stam. That's the next turn of dance. Uh. The Cartel Mavada feud widening to involve selectors targeted for playing the wrong song. A bugger Cartel play, bugger Mavada play, bugger Assassin, bugger everybody. On the beach, nice. Anybody can tell you. We play for about hour and something on the beach, nice. So how Cartel for come tell we about don't play no Mavada? Look how far away Mavada You can't tell with that youth. Oh, happy March 2007 and a truce is brokered between Cartel and Mavado after a flood of mutual lyrical dissing. The problem with Vibes Cartel and Mavado is going to be an either because so many times in this country it ends up with people being dead or seriously injured. The gangster DJs and the party cop likes camera action. There's still records out there now by the name of Mafrado and Mr. Palmer. So once the lyrics don't change and once they don't really take ownership of what is happening, the situation is not going to improve. Everybody is all smiles, but in tried and tested dancehall fashion, rumors of peace were greatly exaggerated. Like War and Peace vets Bounty and Beanie before them, Cartel and Mavado were soon back on the warpath, this time with a vengeance. Jerky Dyke, Jerky Dyke, Jerky Dyke. Don't ramp with me, look up boy. Some boy don't know about bad man thing, they might just sang right up. Me a sing on Anima DJ, I'm going to make him down a career. <laughs> Jerky, when you need for one, tell him for going back to jerk turkey, you see it? <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear this boy, a DJ song about mother this, mother that. Got you want no. You see? Someone said them intelligent and they might eat that. You know, no moral. You know. Because if you had DJ about my mother, you, know, you just have to tell me if you just DJ the worst things about your mother. You know. Because your mother crying, you know, but you want no. You know, I'm going to do them things because he's an intelligent youth, he's not an idiot. Because I tell him 5% near to my level. For you, it's 100. You understand? I don't know, I don't know where I hear nobody talk about Carter. Jamaica alone. Which part of him can make him friend and bother to select them and beat them up. And play them sang them. Jamaica alone. When I step on people, I'm going to do different things. Hey, singer, me, you are called songwriter. I'm a bad over baba where you put powder upon my face. That's the same way the boy, the bad man assassin. It's one of them saying the gassy. So your bad come shoot up the Gaza. Reeling farm and no clone is a farmer. Yo, Jeffrey, I hip. Wake them up like a tsunami. Rise the tide. Rise the tide. Look up at the island. Look up at the island. Out of road, me say. Babylon, say jail for me. You have to understand, one in the same but two different things. So you're not talking about intelligence, blah, blah, blah. You have to know who you are, talk to the teacher. You see me, I say, and you have to know, say, right, and now young lad talk things, because I don't even know what to get to you. I will say, Javin, she will live right around the road from where you live. I will say, Black Rhino. I will say, Big Yard. I will say, Hungry Town. Lockdown Gallings. I will say, 12 Lane. 
if you know that, I will say Kingston 8, I will say come on, where you say you know say nothing. Bill. From Adisha Palmer to Addis the teacher, to Vibes Cartel to Dancehall Notoriety. Got his introduction from Bounty Killer back in 2000. A bright spark with the gift of the gab, the lyrics flowed but the friendship with the warlord withered. Has been taken in by the police several times. Lots of venom but no visa. A hardcore hit machine with a product line. Kind of. I'm the vibes wrong. Yes, it's a man though. Verdict, fearless and sharp, a lyrical mean machine. But his vibes cartel outsmarting even himself by taunting Mavado. Batten down the hatches. Take cover. Tonight, vibes vents. You can't box me now, my face. How will you bring him to the world? How will you do five songs with the barber? Them time the killer no look funny. How will you make him feel like a star and drive him up and down in the beam and make people see him? So when he matter about bad man, he needs to check himself. He does bad man cartel because them sister no matter what them do in an appliance. Them can't get out the teacher. The teacher is just always striving. 2000 when we know about the killer. Me was a nobody, a young artist. Bounty Killer was an icon, right? Then how come Bounty Killer take more than 15 songs from Vibes Cartel? Eh? Six years later now when Vibes Cartel become Vibes Cartel, I mean you know the barber boy, the dog face boy there. How comes when we give the five song them? He never said, boy DJ, I'm better than you still, you know. But may I take your five song then? Talk to me in Jamaica. Ready? Yeah man, DR are dub plate. Alright then. Hey, let me tell you this. You can't dump me down my mouth. You can't box me now my face You know anytime this barber brother try to warn me You always end up embarrassed And then you have to talk about something I call up your mother name People, all this fear in love and war You're a Shakespeare said that I'm going to tell you the next thing to barber You have to talk about intelligence And I'm going to tell you that I can bet you a million US You can't spend intelligence So if you know that See, so no you talk you that the dancers DJ in the history the dancers artists in the history of dance and music. So if you test a DJ and talk about you the far ahead, you know they know where you would. Come with me to Europe, you are trim people on the gully side. Gully side. Yes, I'm saying. Renewed hostilities, a big shot in the arm for Sting. Nothing is resolved. More bad blood in the new year. Even little kids square off. Gaza versus Gully as fans take sides. Scene set for new peace talks, this time at Jamaica House. At the teacher. And at the Every man grab a girl. 2009 and Ramping Shop featuring Spice makes Billboard's top 100 singles chart, but the song is banned in Jamaica. They just banned with immediate effect all songs containing bleeps without keeping a meeting, Mr. Miller. Meetings are kept with people of diplomacy. So obviously the, the BC has us as some little unruly morons and some terrorists of society. The heavy hand of Gaza. The force that they went with, I urinated on myself. And Clarks makes tracks when we return. This a blood clocks. Like a blood clocks. The life we live, it all them cold. That's why them fight get a youth more and more. But remember, yeah, are Miller and I. Hey, Lee Miller. We can't start it, so. Vibes Cartel, dominant DJ, but stuffed by controversy. The focus starting to switch from musical output to the dancehall star's heavy handed stewardship of his so called Portmore Empire. From them time until now, you know, those are representing VR. I don't know what he said, you know, from out of the Portmore Empire, me and say big up. A black rhino. Hey, here, you know what star we are. See that. Sean Stan, Portmore Empire for life. See there, I'm a old man named Pamina. Cheer. See there. See the dad's there. The Gaza boss is rumored to demand absolute obedience from underlings. Dissension in the camp becomes public fodder when Gaza Kim goes public with claims of a brutal beating at the hands of the DJ's cronies. I heard that I inform about something and I don't know of what cause was I informing about. And while I'm getting the beating, I'm there asking what have I done, what have I done, and all I can get is that I'm an informer. Four men beating a 19-year-old girl. That is very traumatizing. On the day when I was beaten, the force that they went with, I urinated on myself. It's the first on earth I've ever been hit in that kind of manner. Believe me when I tell you that. I go to school and I've never been hit by a teacher in that manner. I don't know if he was the one who ordered it to, to happen, but all I can say is that the day of the beating, when I was outside crying, he was there because he came out and he went straight into his car and he, he, he left from where the incident happened. So he was there. From, from ever since I'm going to that studio, he has never shown me a bad face 
or anything. He's always laughing with me when he see me. He heal me. Everything. Everything that's good, I don't have anything bad I can say about that man. He has done everything that I know that is good for me. So, I don't know what, I don't well, I haven't even seen her from the incident, you know, or from the alleged incident. So put your money where you there. ER didn't give up. So now I said, I know, 2010. But neither did Cartel say much more. New style. Well, I don't really know, and because my, on the advice of my lawyer, it has already reached a legal stage, so a no comment answer would be most appropriate. Ready, ready to get it, man. But his hold over previously loyal lieutenants is dealt another blow as Black Rhino 2 jumps ship. Who dead? See the pit, man. I'm looking scared right now. Tell me, I'm looking scared. Uh -uh. Well, actually, yes. Maybe because of this. Charred clothes and household items. His mother wasn't there at the time, but said Rhino's Winchester Avenue apartment was attacked twice this week. First, they hit out the windows with those three stones. They set the doorway, those three big stones. Then after they came back, between last night to this one, I really don't know what time because I wasn't here. And the firebomb the place back and front. Rhino's mom was asked about a possible motive for the torching. Well, honestly... I think it's because he's kicked with Empire. I just think that is the only reason. An apparent act of intimidation about which Black Rhino would not talk. No, I don't know of them. I don't know of them. I don't know of them. I don't know big up Vibes Cartel, Sedway, because I'm a DJ and an inbox man. I'm a Galway's, I'm a DJ. You see what I say? I don't know. You see me? I bring me to the world. I make Jamaica and overseas know me and give me visa and them things. But I don't know, dog. I'm a DJ, they're a DJ. You see me? Right, I want to see Rhino. Why? 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 Carter seemingly unruffled by the latest defection drafts new Why? recruits. Do Empire members have to obey your every word? When it comes to music and when it comes to how the Empire is run as a unit, of course. A ve very much so, you know what I mean? Because as I said before, in an organization that you have, you have rules and you have regulations and you have to abide by the rules and regulations or face dire consequences. Not physical beatings, uh, 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 bouts of torture as it is rumored in the streets. You but know? you wouldn't take orders from Bounty Killers, so some Empire members won't take orders from you, so hey, what's that, wrong with that? Hey, that's a very good question, you know, but you have to understand, you know, Vice Cartel was in the Alliance for six to seven years. Vice Cartel is an artist that, that honed his craft for six to seven years. Vice Cartel is an artist that when he left the, um, the Alliance, he could farm his own entity, which is the Portmore Empire. Let's see the rest of them do that. Will you get that new class, the daddy? Oh. Which color that? Clarks, meanwhile, yields yet another chart Clarks topper TV for the razor sharp lyricist. Let's figure what me know you're not. No, i Clarks are a dancehall hot stepper. Real bad man, I'm a green of shots. Straight jeans, cut off cute pants. Everybody ask me, when me get me clocks. Real bad man, I'm a green of clocks. I'm a Dana at school. Yo, but tell me something. And where you get a new clocks, eh, daddy? Downtown Kingston and their clocks selling on the road. In stores, clocks in cars. Yo, I mean, I'm telling you, the clocks, them get up of them and sit down. All right, you know, the clocks. I move hard. I got to say, but this is a bank robber. Oh, summer grind. Ten, you have to have ten to have this, yeah? We get a million applications a day for someone who wants to join the empire, but it's just the energy, you know what I mean? And, and that is the, the key element in, in, in determining how an artist is going to be a hit. Everything from you knowing. Everything you want me to learn, I teach me. Clocks me prefer. Clocks for the leather, yeah. Clocks for the fur. Clocks for the summer, clocks for the winter. How is vibes treating you? I don't see any bruises on you. No. 100% Gaza security, you know. Vibes, I'm a boss. I'm a daddy, I'm a party. A war. Beset by allegations of rough treatment meted out to less than devoted crew members, Cartel also gets flack for his use of skin lightning agents as well as dabbling in the dark arts, links to masonry, and generally being a different sort of DJ. When I use the cake soap, we don't give you a bottle and set. We burn cake soap, we burn bleaching. I wouldn't say nothing to her because, as I said before, I don't really discuss artists in this other way around. Vice Cartel is in the spotlight, Vice Cartel is on the pinnacle, so I will be discussed by, by those of a lesser caliber. You know what I mean? But what I can really say about her, she never did so brown a couple years ago. So I not really know. <laughs> not everyone's amused. Among them, Dr. Imani Tafari Amo, who's done research into the psychological effects of skin bleaching. <coughs> Do you think Vibes Cartel feels inferior because he's black? I think so. And even if he doesn't consciously admit that, it is a way of showing that he's, he's not entirely comfortable. Otherwise, why would he change? If he says it's just a gimmick, then we can understand that from an economic point of view because gimmicks in his world, in the entertainment world, make money. In our society, value is added to color in terms of brownness, having more value. Then the person who bleaches will always say, well, you know, they get more look upon and more look apart. 
because people think that they're sexier and nicer. But ask them if they have more money in the bank as a result. I think they will tell you no. Black people are in their skin to me a stunt amount to white people getting a suntan. My mother been washing with cake soap when she was much younger and it never bleaches her hands. So I know the cake soap bleach clothes, but it's not strong enough to bleach a pigment of skin. So I guess they have some new... No, this one is a bummer. I guess they have some blasting device in it that blast out the pigment of skin, but... Any excess action is gonna have an excess reaction. So if you use anything in excess, you know where I got me. If you drink too much rum, you have a junk. So were you using this product to excess to get this new look that you Yeah, have? man, because as you know, Vice Cartel, uh, you know Anthony Miller. Anything with me, I do, I don't do my thing, you know. So right now, you don't know, Vice Cartel always a, a change of image. And this is my new style for the new millennium, for the new 011. And the girls, them love it, and the Gaza fans, them love it, you know what So I mean? what, you're going to revert to your original skin color, you think, after you've, after you've sort of moved beyond the fat aspect of this yeah, cake well, soap? Well, you know, as I said before, you, know, you can expect the unexpected from Vice Cartel. So you probably next year you can see me harass. But Bounty Killer was saying this could not be achieved by cake soap, that you, that you are on something else, some injection or some heavier duty medication. No, we're not taking an injection, we're not taking a pill. And you have to understand, you know, we're not really discuss artists. You know. It's entertainment, and it's all about a look. You understand? And that is his look. Bleaching is it's just the in thing right now, right? And he chose to do it, so why not? I love him still, we have nothing wrong with him though. Everybody does their own thing, everybody will do their own life, nothing wrong. Man is not supposed to bleach and neither is women. We're born with beautiful black skin and if artists do these things, they're going to influence the community to do the same thing. It's not just the cake soap issue that's directing heat at Cartel. Some see him as a sinister figure, pulling strings and making trouble. They're turned off by the tattoos and accuse him of membership in secret societies. All of which, of course, just adds to his notoriety. We don't know them sign. Come and spring to the line. If I was such a bad person, why would Vice Cartel be running dance hall, winning all the awards, both locally and abroad, without even a visa? Being one of the artists selling artists on iTunes, the most downloaded artists on the internet right now, the most watched artists on YouTube. You know what I mean? If Vice Cartel was such an evil, bad, diabolical person, as they said, I wouldn't even be here doing this interview. What about this large thing that people go on that you're some sort of large person with their secret, secret rituals that take place among cabals of, of ah! scary people? <laughs> Well, them say the same thing about Ryan and them say the same thing about Jay-Z. Them say the same thing about a lot of people because you have to remember people here to them not understand and feel them can conquer. So people have to talk about other things about people who have reached the heights of success where them can't believe that that person has reached there because they never expected them to. So you're going to hear a lot of things. Oh, him sell him so to the devil, him join large, him do this, him do that. You know what I mean? That is just frivolous activity from people who don't like Vibes Cartel in the first place. And why are you so popular among kids? Because Vibes Cartel is, is just doing all right. I'm just doing me and... I'm just keeping it real. I just do what I want to do. If I get up this morning and say, listen, me, you know, say I'm just lock up my ear and beard up my face. I'm going to do it, you know what I mean? If I get up this morning and say, you know, say I'm going to curl my hair. I'm going to do it. I just do what I want to do at any given time as long as it is in the confines of the law, you know what I mean? So the kids just love me for my realness. To the extent that you have a short term goal, what is that? It's a secret like the KFC secret recipe, you know. <laughs> But what I can say to ER and to the world, is everything of Vice Cartel though, it is done precise, it is done concise, it is well planned and orchestrated. I mean, I do nothing by accident, you know what I mean? So even this whole thing, people are talking about skin bleaching and everything. But the haters don't realize, what the haters need to realize that all the matter about it, I still get a hit song out of it, which is putting money in my pocket. I still have a soap for drop, which is going to put more money in my pocket. You know what I mean? So, you get what I'm trying to say? So, anything Vice Cartel do, we do it spitefully and purposefully and we need to reason. Yeah. He's smart because he knows that controversy sells and people will be buying more of his music simply because they want to know. So who is this Vibes Cartel? What he really see? And more of his music will be selling. As so you can't say then that he has an issue with his color ne it's necessarily? A it's a combination because he is playing into the, the, the lack of consciousness, stylized thing that say, if I bleach out, if I'm brown, I'm more attractive and, and girls will like me better than the hype and the hit thing. But at, if, he, if he was really conscious, and, and not so um, confused about his identity, then I think maybe he would stop short of erasing his blackness because it's actually dangerous from a health point of view. <laughs> are, you, are you still bleaching as, as we talk? Are you still lightening your skin? No, are you no, no. Right now, the AC does I keep me cool. <laughs> the last time we did an interview with Anthony Miller, I'm set, we use the cake soap, I'm in the AC. Everybody make a big fuss out of it. I'm gonna get two big songs out of it. So. I guess the next thing is all about me and the AC, so I'm keep But going. nobody believes that. They think you're using hardcore things, hardcore drugs. Yeah, but if I'm using hardcore drugs to, to keep my skin light, uh, wouldn't that be um, something that is cause of a concern for Vibe Cartel, not for anybody else? You know what I mean? Suppose I look brown like you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh.
unflappable cartel takes his case to the Mona campus to offset the flood of bad press he's been getting. The students greet him, but also give it to him. Bleaching today doesn't mean the same as bleaching 25 years ago. But today, we are a much prouder race who know that we can do what we want as far as style is concerned. We dictate styles and regard them as just that, styles. So as controversial as bleaching might be right now, I bask in its controversy with cake soap as my suntans. <laughs> UWI students were fascinated by Carter's alleged involvement in masonry. They quizzed him about a certain tattoo, showing a pyramid and a mystical eye and whatever. No, he said, I'm not a mason. Everybody at the university knows what the symbol is. It's a pyramid with the all-seeing eye of Horus, which is, which is found, which is found on the US dollar. And under that US dollar, under the US dollar, it says, in God we trust. The questions got a lot more tricky, sometimes hostile after that. Why is it that you and every other person who is being accused or alleged as a devil worshipper, mm -hmm. why is it that you're not answering the question? And two, you never answer the question about coloring book. Why you bleach? Because you say it's a style, yes. but frankly, I brown, but I would have I not I would have never bleached my skin if I was black. Err. You get me? No. One. That, that, I don't know if that is a question or a statement, so again, I refuse to answer. Whether they want to embrace it or not, the youth, them they get to see him as role model, and them look up and them do things with him do. The same thing I say, so him can't come and say you him not embrace it. What about them youth, they will see him and, and do the thing they want to do. It was a great initiative by him to come here and give a lecture, but I did not like the fact that he dodged most of the questions. <laughs> so you're going to hear a lot of things, oh, him sell him soul to the devil, him giant large, him do this, him do that. You know what I mean? That is just frivolous activity from people who don't like Vibes Cartel in the first place. Love him or hate no, him, what? Cartel is news, but the picture darkens as Corey, not me. nice and Da Vinci, get flat. We'll be right back. Your gift will come to you. I say it's not a good thing, you know. The life we live, it's hard and cold. That's why them fight get to you more and more. But remember. Police detained Cartel during the limited state of emergency in 2010, but he exploits the experience by appearing in prison overalls at Reggae Sumfest. It's great, you know, man. It's a great feeling. He's long lost his visa, but still manages a U.S. appearance, beamed by satellite to best of the best in Florida. Cartel is nothing if not resourceful. <laughs> Vibes Cartel is, is always going to be Vibes Cartel. I'm born in Jamaica. I never had a visa. Then I got it for a few years and I lost it. So, you know, once a man, twice a child. So, we just, once a Jamaica, now always a Jamaica. Rechristened the world boss, Cartel's usual bravado is starting to look like a high wire act in 2011. It's to prove a fateful year for the DJ, whose inner circle too starts to desert him. From the Gaza, where my DJ? Remember, we have stars anywhere we did find him. Beginning with his business partner, Corey Todd. Listen to me, all right? There are chilling allegations of death threats as a clearly rattled Todd goes on TV to tell his story. Vibes Cartel, this is for you, you know. I'm not scared of you, you know. If you want to come for me yourself, <laughs> then we can see how that go, you know. But don't try to hide behind things and you know what you said to me and you know how loyal I've been to you. I hate this, you know. I'm not trying to damage your career. Get back to yourself, get some sun, take the hair out your hair, and, and DJ and do your thing. I wish you the best, all right? Big up yourself. But you can't kill me, you know. I got kids, and I got a wife, and I got a daughter on the way, and you're supposed to be the goddaughter of my daughter, you know, you. I treat you like a brother, you know. Yo, you're all right, you know. Your get will come to you. Uh, I say it's not a good thing, you know. Todd's bombshell is followed by fresh revelations from formerly devoted music producer Not Nice and singer Javinci. Both portray Cartel as a clever but amoral power freak, using them disposing of friends and associates as he sees fit. Well, it was scuffle still, you know. Get to me and say, and me defend myself. And because of defending myself, I realized less shows. You understand? Scuffles with whom? With members of the Gaza, friends with part of the Gaza. Who said what to you and did what? Well, it's just that one day I go around the studio and, you know, man, I say, yeah, this is the boss, yeah, this is the boss. I'm say, this is the boss. Oh, you get to me and say, well, people are walking and I say, you know, in a Gaza no more, and a gully, you and whatever. Run. You know? So from that, things just get ugly and. I do my thing and them do them thing I'm a cut. If Vibes Cartel was obsessed or preoccupied with anything, with one thing that he constantly spoke about or talked about to you or to other people, what would that thing be? Money. 
his driving concern was money. Mm -hmm. Producer Not Nice crafted many of the Rhythms Cartel Road to Chart Glory over several years. He said they had a contract dividing up the proceeds from their collaborations 50-50, but alleges that out of the blue, Cartel sent men to strip his apartment of everything, including computer hard drives containing his music. Them take my computer then. Two computer, two keyboard, some sound module, drum machine, headphone, all of my hard drive, going to my living room, take my flat screen, my DVD player, money, in, some USA and amateur, then take my chain, jewelry, up, up, put on the table, everything. As them say, teachers say, when they leave, at the bed alone, fell in the room. Then take some vice guard, they'll post it up on the wall. Everything them take up, out of my room. And you're claiming, you're alleging that vice guard has sent these people to get these things? Remember, all of the man, my man, they were, when we see the day before, you know, because the teacher fought on the with a vice, and them always followed him. So, and I like a stranger. Them said the general send them. And I one person them refer to as the general. This is to the gun, yeah? Both not nice and Chavinchi put Cartel on a pedestal as a DJ, but say his personality took a change for the worse. Do you rate him as an artist? Yeah. From before me even know him personally, I always rate him as an artist because me come from, from Waterford, you know. So me know him as a little community artist from a long time. From him, Adi Bantan, rate him from him time. And you knew, you had a sense that he was different and special and he was heading somewhere else, yeah. out of Waterford? Yeah, talented youth. So what do you think has happened to Vibes Cartel now? I mean, yeah. he's not the same person. So the How does he strike you now? I mean, when you see Vibes Cartel now, what comes into your mind? They're different. But just give me a bit more information. I mean, why is he different? You know, see. I'm asking you guys out. You're, you were a part of Gaza. I mean, how did Gaza work? How did it operate? Well. Everybody was, it's like one big unit. Everybody did rate everybody and you don't know, you have some yes man in the crew. Some man will jump when Carter said jump. And maybe it's just that me is not one of them personally. You get what I say? Respect him and everything, but when things ain't right, I'm not going to just jump and start then. You know? What did you think of him as a person? <laughs> he was a good person. You get what I say? But things just changed. Like what? What changed? Like him behavior towards we and the music. In terms of he used to call me and tell me, say, yeah, we have only for shows and, you know, till it's like my voice a song and every time my voice a song, it wasn't good enough for him or he just not like the song. Were you surprised about the bleaching and? Well, I was. Actually, I was, you know. Were you embarrassed? No, I look away, but a man is a man and if he feel like he want to do him thing, then he can do him thing. I don't really have a problem with him and do him thing, you get what I say, but all me grow up is not a part of my lifestyle, you get what I say, so. Different road, is it? You think he might be concerned that he's going to end up by himself without any friends, without anybody in his corner? Well, see, oh, him think he must have one guy and the next one born in it. So maybe he feel like he can replace everybody where he move around him. That's how we him feel like that. He say, if he say, Kim left, he say, all right, slim forward. If he say, right now, if he say, right, popcorn forward. So, you know, replace Javin, to replace Corey and replace me. So you think Sean Storm and Popcorn are heading in the same direction? You know, them just have to get a reason for it. Maybe they don't get the reason for it, or maybe they want to live on free. You know? So, if you had a question that you could ask Vibes Cartel, if he were here right now, what, what question would you ask him? Where is the one of my come take the thing for that? Does that one know? That's just that alone, one know. Why? He said, because I see him after, you know, and he never. He just pretend like nothing, now. like, what well, I go on, dog? So, I said, what? Wow. You think them? Yeah, don't bad man, you yeah. All right. I'll link me tomorrow. From February and tomorrow night. As bad as it's looking for Cartel, his legion of fans still view him as a weird guy, but wicked DJ. Cartel and I, body artist ever come out of Jamaica. When he surround himself with some people who are in the need around him. Leave the badness thing alone, because Cartel, you have the place locked. If you know that, and leave the badness thing. Cartel, meanwhile, looks to reality TV as a new avenue for his notoriety, launching the girls gone wild teacher's pet with a mainstream sponsor. You need to take it. What are you thought of the ladies? Dance. <laughs> but by October, Cartel is inextricably caught up in a web, some say of his own making. News cameras are summoned as Cartel in handcuffs is taken to the crime scene. Does Vibes Cartel actually appear on this video and is his voice audible? I will say to you, we have video and audio evidence implicating Vibes Cartel and others in murder. Cartel beats one of two homicide charges, but spends over two bail denied years in jail before embarking on the longest murder trial in local legal history. If you recall, I think it was as much as seven murders that uh, a police had mentioned that, you know, they're certain that he would be charged with. Then it went to five, then it ended up being two, then now it's down to one. 
So when we separate what people say in the media and the rumors versus what happens in a courtroom, we say, you know, a total different story. But one that ended badly for Vibes Cartel after a sensational final day attempted bribery revelation swings the 11 member jury the prosecution's way after much speculation that Cartel would walk. Instead, though, Vibes Cartel back behind bars, all his hopes now pinned on appealing his March 13 murder conviction. Loved, loathed, and now locked away. But fans and foes alike still fascinated with Vibes Cartel and wondering what's next. Yeah, my life is all I have. All the good way me do in a life, we have no regrets, no regrets. The life we live, it hard and cold. That's why them fight get to you more and more, but remember. But it's a cartel, it don't read. Come on, I'm not going to keep on it. 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 I'm Man, I'm going water house, you know, so the street of Kingston taught me a lot before I moved to Fort Moore. We're going to call about high school, so we mix back with the next set of people now, and we gain the intellect and the knowledge. So it's like we have everything, we have a balance of intelligence, and we have a balance of experience. We're right now, we can bring to Jamaica people and them vibe with it, because they feel it, because real. Vibes Cartel emerged in 2002, lacking either style nor self-confidence. When we used to go to Calabar, you know, I remember when we used to play really much, lunchtime and everything, the Pandex and everything, you see. And one of them said, Cartel, one of them said, Addy, because they said the name Addy, you know. They said, Addy, have it. And I said, all right. I start working with it, and from them I start with King Jam is true, they are run a white house. I start voice and start building my song again. Hey, hey, what you mean to you, you and me? K-I-S-S-I-N-T-N. Fans got the picture, often X-rated, sometimes violent, but always real, as the kids might say. For Esa Cartel, it's done real, you know, so. It no need to say nothing more. Even when I commercialize my lyrics, it have that realness. It not too extra hype. It can be related by everybody. Because Mr. Colgan is a hot Guinness. Straight. I never said more words, I never said Hennessy. So I build my tunes that many can hear and many see. You see what I say? say that was the real thing. We just keep it real straight, yeah. Cartel sounded fresh, had a different flavor, very dancehall, but also a little hip hop. My style is like an unorthodox style. It's a new millennium dancehall. It's, it's dancehall 2K. Timeless. Time. Just me a slip to the time. Still in a baby, I just close your eyes and imagine that you're with me on a long island of paradise. I don't really limit myself to, to like the three topics that most DJs limit themselves to. I be like a girl tune, I be like a gun tune, I be like a reality tune. Vibes Cartel does anything that comes to mind that does express it. Hey, time for the bumps, that's for the fine rubber dobby, bubble like swaps for the mix, melody, the eyes, nodded, and then you hooks like for the nodded, not for the early on the DJ projected a gangster image. I associate myself with music business, but hear me I say, you see my part of the music, I deal with the thugs, them, I don't know cartel, I deal with thugs, but I'm on for no say differently. Music is music and real life is real life. Like you see Sylvester Stallone for your shot in a show now for your shot a road. So you know that, you can't fight that. You come in that movie, you have R-rated movie. If you don't like an R-rated movie, well a cartoon. <laughs> Early on also, Cartel identified with Bounty Killer, the DJ notorious for his bad-tempered bust-ups with other DJs. Anything in DJ, you leave it. Not the violence, you know. You know, say not everything you have impersonated. You have someone going to impersonate. Just get up and say, well, I'm going to go on tune, I'm going to go on tune, I'm going to go on reality tune. No, I'm going to go on for your vibes. This is a new millennium, a different thing I've gone. Marshall and God, they'll go create a song. And when you see your silly cover, see your silly run. And just the pressure we are mine, we are going to drop it on. In a me talk and I, in the back of the talk and I, drop a line. Hanging out with Wayne Marshall, The Warlord and Don Corleone, Cartel racked up hits in 2002. New millennium represent me in terms of the style, my style. It represent me as the artist. And it represents the audience right now with inner reggae music and the whole impact of reggae music I get worldwide. So, New Millennium, it is the right song at the right time. Five up, young, come lock it up. So, if that's the pun, you would lock it up. If I'm lock it up, if I'm lock it up. An overflow crowd at Cartel's birthday bash in 2003, the DJ counted among the newly formed Bounty Killer led Alliance. Killer the man, back at the Alliance, he's the CEO, he's the executive. 
Give me the cheer, man. Yeah, man. More hits flow in 2003. As usual, Cartel is rarely at a loss for words. Music is just expression. I just listen to what people say in the street. My friends, things around me, I watch the news, you know what I mean? I just absorb everything. And at night, I just write. Meanwhile, there are rumblings within the alliance. Well, me forgot from Bounty Killer tour, and you know what I mean? I look at things up now, we never really go so. People are speculating, but you don't know, you see it. Much love to the killer, you see it. With Sting looming, Supreme Promotions boss Isaiah Lang boosts the clash credentials of his favorite DJ. Who would your ideal clash candidates be at Sting 2003? Ninja man with anybody. If someone wants to die, the best place to go is on stage of Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? If an artist wants to be killed, you can come. That the best place to be is on stage beside Vibes Cartel. Cartel! All right! There are other downsold dates on the concert calendar, but for the tough talkers and tightrope walkers, Sting is it. <laughs> Cartel has a date with Destiny. In the meantime, the DJ drops his debut album up to the time. No matter the method of operation or the topics that are portrayed on the album, it all comes around to lyrics. So the album is all about lyrics. I overheard people saying Bounty and Cartel mash up. Bounty shows up at Cartel's album launch, signaling a patching up of differences. Bounty Killer and Cartel is father and son, brother and cousin, nephew, anything you want to call it. So that quells all the issues that you brought up in the last interview. So this ship is sailing good as usual. It ain't gonna sink anytime now. Alliance, you know, I told them. You think it's easy? You are happy. You want it easy? Take the things and you take the money too. So take in the lead-up to Sting, Cartel has the top track. It's Cartel in sexually explicit mode. I don't necessarily know if I even like the tech, tech, girl. You think it's easy? However, you can't go to a play and don't play because you'll be considered to have flopped. Come Sting, showgoers are poised for a Cartel Ninja Man showdown. They get one and more. Call on the terms! I can even call the terms! Ninja Man didn't stand a chance against the hungry newcomer, but Mr. Up to the Time gets the blame for taking things too far. Whenever time an artist calls another artist name, that means you call him to stage, you invite him for a competition. You never invite him for licking down your friend them with buckle. You never invite him for a gang war. And all them artists, you Mr. Leng must know who he put on his show because this incident this morning has spoiled Sting's reputation very, very bad. In the Sting aftermath, the stakes rise dangerously for Cartel. He's detained and charged with possession of ammo. Freed from jail, a subdued Cartel declares his innocence but shoulders his share of the blame for Sting. My Cartel apologizes to the fans and to the people of Jamaica, to people who really wanted the best for dancehall music. You know what I mean? Because as I said, it's really a scare on the face of the dancehall music and right now you know, as much damage control as possible is really needed sorry damage control and i mean <clears throat> is needed right now but vibes cartel is willing to put his all into gaining but the respect and admiration of the fans that i had and even fans that i didn't have dancehall detractors point to sting as proof they were right all along the songs glorify a certain type of response if a man this a woman you must not take it if a man diss you, you must not take it. In other words, it encourages intolerance. It encourages antagonism. Despite the price of chasing real bad man status getting ever steeper, Cartel bounces back early in 2004, sounding upbeat and defiant. Dancer music is all about having a lot of songs at any given time, you know what I mean? That's the genre of dancehall music, if one wants to maintain a level of hotness. A flavor for the girl them, you know what I mean? Entertainment, a little sex, a little gynecology, you know what I mean? And a little Shakespeare and that's it. Not content with besting Ninja Man at Jamworld, he now trains his sights on a new opponent. Let's get something straight now, we are boy, we are bad long time. After staying, Cartel continues to court trouble in his search for the hardcore heavyweight title. The skinny fast talker from Portmore baits fellow DJ Assassin at every opportunity, but Assassin doesn't bite. His fear and his intelligence is telling him to stay away from this one. You know what I mean? For the better uh, the benefit of his career. <laughs> Throwing words is his specialty, but while Assassin takes evasive action, his red square pal Spraga Benz takes up the gauntlet. Both DJs go for the jugular, taking their lyrical duel into the recording studio. 
he did a move, lean for an assassin. You know, we were assassin the duty to Martin Bridgen. And come like him just this way out of We never too like that. But then, leave them to the moon, because assassin done me and assassin done reason for it. And I'm going to do him own thing. We're going to be with the man right now. This Paga Benz has a elder in the business, you know what I mean? Took it upon himself to really um, intervene in, in, in a clash between two young artists, you know what I mean? We watched the involved in a foul fight. <laughs> While other DJs like Beanie Man and Bounty Killer do lucrative endorsement deals, corporate Jamaica boycotts cartel. They know that I can sell their products, but you know the whole corporate image and the whole thing that they have to maintain. They say vibes cartel, break that image at stake. But to his fans, cartel is more X-rated poet than warmongering thug. I read a lot of books. I just finished reading the Da Vinci Code with, um, the other day. And I mean, it's a book about um, Freemasonry and you know, I mean, secret societies all over the world. You know, I mean, it's a good book. You know, I mean, I read all kind of books. I read comic. You know what I mean? We watch cartoon, we watch Discovery Channel, we watch History Channel. We watch HBO, we watch BET. We live in an in information age, internet, you know what I mean? So everything is just at your fingertips. So why not grasp it? A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of my fans, I know that I send them into the dictionary a lot because some words that I use, I know they have to go in the dictionary for those words. So I, I encourage my fans even to, to read and seek knowledge. If you, wanna, if, you wanna, if you wanna be a top DJ like Vibes Cartel and spit in all these gangster lyrics and all these X-rated lyrics, if you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, Vibes Cartel could have been a journalist like the great Anthony Miller. I could have been a pilot, you know what I mean? It's just I chose this line, you know what I mean? So you still need up here. Still ahead, cartel breaks with the alliance and bad vibes with Mavado. The life we live, it hard and cold. That's why they fight get to you more and more, but remember... Spell psychological. Don't guess what's 13% of a million US. Don't said girl, can't get a happiness if a pretty miss alone, you're a dopey princess. That, that song really came about because I was listening to a, a talk show one morning and I heard them really, you know what I mean, lashing out and vibes cartel and, and blaming me for, for all the, the, the explicit activities of the kids on the school bus, you know what I mean? Clutching a notebook crammed with lyrics, Vibes Cartel makes the rounds, recording as usual at breakneck speed. This song was recorded at Arf Cooper studio when Roach had the rhythm and he said he wanted a song talking about, you know what I mean? The suffering of poor people and inner city community. Sidekick Roach, the first of many close associates, abruptly cut loose. When the dad said, go, what am I going to do? Roach, everything except dead people are real. Yeah, man, so why not nice? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they done here with Sprague, say, already. So the community where we grow up, where we grow up in, we're not for trust a nigga. Smile up in your face and behind your back, then pull the trigger. So I don't want no friend from you, my youth. It's much good, you know, because you don't know, you know, everybody knew them 15 minutes of fame and he got his. You know, we are famous for a lifetime, and that's all I got to say. Cartel a hit machine, but also trouble magnet. Closer ties with Beanie Man puts Cartel at odds with the alliance, with which the DJ breaks before embarking on a long-running feud with bounty killer loyalist Movado. Look, I know we never run from a challenge, never run from a clash, you know. Vibes Cartel is the war angel, and I always tell people these things in interviews. That I love clashing musically, lyrically, that's how I grew up listening to Ninja Man, Shabba, Super Cat, Ninja Man, Flogan, Red Dragon, you know what I mean? All clashing Cabra, Mad Cabra from Portmore. So clashing for Vibes Cartel is fun, and I love it. But in these latter days now, the clash can get too serious because artists letting their egos, you know what I mean, get the better of them. At the same time, Cartel's Portmore Empire also taking shape. Black Rhino, Dev Rock and Sean Stan. That's the next gen of dance style. The Cartel Mavada feud widening to involve selectors targeted for playing the wrong song. A bugger Cartel play, bugger Mavada play, bugger Assassin, bugger everybody. And the beach, nice. Anybody can tell you. We play for about one something on the beach, nice. So how Cartel for come tell we about don't play no Mavada? Look how far away Mavada could. You can't tell with that youth. Oh, happy day. March 2007 and a truce is brokered between Cartel and Movado after a flood of mutual lyrical dissing. The problem with Vice Cartel and Movado is going to be an because so many times in this country it ends up with people being dead or seriously injured. The gangster DJs and the party cop lights, camera, action. There's still records out there now by the name of Mofrado and Mr. Palmer. So once the lyrics don't change and once they don't really take ownership of what is happening, the situation is not going to improve. Everybody is all smiles, but in tried and tested dancehall fashion, rumors of peace were greatly exaggerated. Like War and Peace vets Bounty and Beanie before them, Cartel and Mavado were soon back on the warpath, this time with a vengeance. Jerky Dyke, Jerky Dyke, Jerky Dyke. Don't ramp with me, look a boy. Some boy don't know about bad man thing, they might just sang right up. Me a sing on, and I'm a DJ, I'm going to make him down a career. <laughs> Some 
Jerky, I'm gonna need for one. I'm telling him for going back to jerk turkey, you see it? <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear this boy, a DJ song about mother this, mother that. Because you want now. You see? Some man said they're intelligent and they're eager to know. You know, no moral. Because you know. if you're a DJ about my mother, you, know. you just tell me if you're a DJ, the worst things about your mother. You know. call your mother crying, you know. but you want now. You know, I'm not going to do anything because he's an youth, he's not an idiot. The car tells him 5% near to my level. For reach a hundred. You understand? I'm not going to know when I hear nobody talk about car tell. Jamaica alone. Which part can make him friend and bother to select them and beat them up. To play him song them. Jamaica alone. When I step on people, I do it different. Hey, singer, me, you a call some writer. I'm a bad over, bad where you put powder pan man face. That's the same way the boy, the bad man assassin. It's one of them say the cassin. Say your bad come shoot up the Gaza. Pilling farm and a clone, Mr. Palmer. Yo, Jeffrey, I hip. Wake them up like a tsunami. Go to the land, go to the land. Rise the tide. You have to understand. One in the same, but two different things. So you're not talking about intelligence, blah, blah, blah. You have to know who you are. Talk to you. Teach you. You see me? I say, and you have to know right now, young lad, talk things. Because I don't know what to get for you. I will say, Javin, she will live right around the road from where you live. I will say, Black Rhino. Right I will say, Big Yard. I will say, Hungry Town. Lock down Gallings. I will say, 12 Lane. If you know that, I will say Kingston Eight. I will say, come on. Where you say, you know, say nothing. Bill. From Adisha Palmer to Addis the Teacher, to Vibes Cartel to Dancehall Notoriety. Got his introduction from Bounty Killer back in 2000. A bright spark with the gift of the gab, the lyrics flowed, but the friendship with the warlord withered. Has been taken in by the police several times. Lots of venom, but no visa. A hardcore hit machine with a product line. Kind of. I'm the vibes wrong. Yes, it's a demand though. Verdict, fearless and sharp, a lyrical mean machine. But his vibes cartel outsmarting even himself by taunting Mavado. Batten down the hatches, take cover. Tonight, vibes vents. You can't box me now, my face. How will you bring him to the world? How will you do five songs with the barber? Them time the killer no look on him. How will you make him feel like a star and drive him up and down in the beam and make people see him? So when he matter about bad man, he needs to check himself. He does bad man cartel because them sisters no matter what they do in an appliance. Them can't get out the teacher. The teacher is just always striving. 2000 when we know Bounty Killer, me was a nobody, a young artist. Bounty Killer was an icon, right? Then how come Bounty Killer take more than 15 songs from Vibes Cartel? Eh? Six years later now when Vibes Cartel become Vibes Cartel, I mean you know the barber boy, the dog face boy there. How comes when you give the five song them? You never say, boy DJ, my brother than you still, you know. But may I take you. Necessary tools high. Man, I'm going to the house, you know. So the street of Kingston taught me a lot before I moved to Fort Moore. We go to Calabar High School, so we mix back with the next set of people now and we gain the intellect and the knowledge. So it's like we have everything. We have a balance of intelligence and we have a balance of experience. So right now we can bring to Jamaica people and them vibe with it, cause them feel it, cause real. Vibes Cartel emerged in 2002, lacking neither style nor self-confidence. When we used to go to Calabar, you know, me and my bridge them used to play really much. Lunchtime and them things, the decks and them things, you see. And one of them said Cartel, and one of them said Addy, cause them tell them Addy, you know. They must say Addy, Avi. And they say, all right. I start working with it, and from them I start with King Jammy's show that I run a white house. I start voice and start building my song then. Fans got the picture, often X-rated, sometimes violent, but always real, as the kids might say. If I say cartel, it's done real, you know, so it no need to say nothing more. Even when I commercialize my lyrics, it have that realness. It's not too extra hype. It can be related by everybody. Because Mr. Colgan is at Guinness. Straight. I never said more, I never said Hennessy. So I build my tunes that many can hear and many see. You see me I say, say, that was the real thing. We just keep it real straight, yeah. Cartel sounded fresh, had a different flavor, very dancehall, but also a little hip hop. My style is like an unorthodox style. It's a new millennium dancehall. It's it's dancehall 2K. Timeless. Time. Timeless. To the time. Still in the baby, I just close your eyes and imagine that you're with me on a long island of paradise. I don't really limit myself to, to like the three topics that most DJs limit themselves to. I be like a girl tune, I be like a gun tune, I be like a reality tune. Perhaps cartel does anything that comes to mind that does express it. Hey, thanks for the bam, that's for the divine rubber dobby, bubble like soap, so the mix, melody, I love it. And then it looks like for the, no, the, not for the. Early on, the DJ projected a gangster image. I associate myself with music business, but you hear me I say, this is my part of the music, I deal with the thugs, because I don't know cartel, I deal with thugs, but I'm on to know differently. 
Music is music and real life is real life. Because you see Sylvester Stallone for your shot in a show, not for your shot at road. So if you know that, you can't fight that. You come in like movie, you have a rated movie. If you don't like a rated movie, well, a cartoon. <laughs> Early on, also, Cartel identified with Bounty Killer, the DJ notorious for his bad-tempered bust-ups with other DJs. Anything in DJ, you believe it. Not the violence, you know. You know, say not everything you have impersonated. You have someone who's going to impersonate. Just get up and say, well, I'm going to go and show you, 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 i am going to go and show you i and it represents the audience right now in reggae music and the whole impact of reggae music I get worldwide. So New Millennium, it is the right song at the right time. Five up, young, come lock it up. So if that's the pop, you would lock it up. If I'm lock it up, if I'm lock it up. An overflow crowd at Cartel's birthday bash in 2003. The DJ counted among the newly formed Bounty Killer led Alliance. Killer the man back at the Alliance, he's the CEO, he's the executive. Him are the chairman, yeah man. Ten time, ten dinner. get the piece of shorty. You dey a platinum at six a party. More hits flow in 2003. As usual, Cartel is rarely at a loss for words. Music is just expression. I just listen to what people say in the street. My friends, things around me. I watch the news. You know what I mean? I just absorb everything. And at night, I just write. Meanwhile, there are rumblings within the alliance. Well, I mean, if I go up on Bounty Killer tour and, you know what I mean, I look at things up now, we never really go so. People are speculating, but you don't know, you see it. Much love to the killer, you see it. With Sting looming, Supreme Promotions boss Isaiah Leng boosts the Clash credentials of his favorite DJ. Who would your ideal Clash candidates be at Sting 2003? Name the man with anybody. If someone wants to die, the best place to go is on stage of Vibes Cartel. You know what I mean? If an artist wants to be killed, you can come. The best place to be is on stage beside Vibes Cartel. Cartel! All right! There are other dancehall dates on the concert calendar, but for the tough talkers and tightrope walkers, Sting is it. <laughs> Cartel has a date with Destiny. In the meantime, the DJ drops his debut album up to the time. No matter the method of operation or the topics that are portrayed on the album, it all comes around to lyrics. So the album is all about lyrics. I overheard people saying Bounty and Cartel mash up. Bounty shows up at Cartel's album launch, signaling a patching up of differences. Bounty Killer and Cartel, his father and son, brother and cousin, nephew, anything you want to call it. So that quells all the issues that you brought up in the last interview. So this ship is sailing good as usual. It ain't gonna sink anytime now. Alliance, you know, I told them. You think it's easy? You want the easy? You take the things on, you take the money too. So take in the lead-up to Sting, Cartel has the top track. It's Cartel in sexually explicit mode. I don't necessarily know if I even like the tech and tech and girl. You think it's easy? However, you can't go to a parent and don't play it because you'll be considered to have flopped. Come Sting, showgoers are poised for a Cartel Ninja Man showdown. They get one and more. Well, I Ninja Man didn't stand a chance against the hungry newcomer, but Mr. Up to the Time gets the blame for taking things too far. Whenever time an artist calls another artist's name, that means you call him to stage, you invite him for a competition. You never invite him for lick him down here and your friend them with buckle. You never I invite him for a gang war. And all them artists here, Mr. Leng must know who he might put on his shoulder because this incident this morning has spoiled Sting reputation very, very bad. In the Sting aftermath, the stakes rise dangerously for Cartel. He's detained and charged with possession of ammo. Freed from jail, a subdued Cartel declares his innocence but shoulders his share of the blame for Sting. Vibes Cartel apologizes to the fans and to the people of Jamaica, to people who really wanted the best for dance and music. You know what I mean? Because as I said, it's really a scare on the face of the dance and music and right now as much damage control as possible is really needed. Sorry, damage control, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's needed right now. But Vibes Cartel is willing to put his all into gaining by the respect and admiration of the fans that I had and even fans that I didn't have. Dancehall detractors point to Sting as proof they were right all along. The songs glorify a certain type of response. If a man diss a woman, you must not take it. If a man diss you, you must not take it. In other words, it encourages intolerance. It encourages antagonism. Hey, hey, hey.
Which me and you, you and me. Despite the price of chasing real bad man status getting ever steeper, Cartel bounces back early in 2004, sounding upbeat and defiant. Dancehall music is all about having a lot of songs at any given time, you know what I mean? That's the genre of dancehall music if one wants to maintain a level of hotness. A flavor for the girl, them, you know what I mean? Entertainment, a little sex, a little gynecology, you know what I mean? and a little Shakespeare and that's it. Not content with besting Ninja Man at Jamworld, he now trains his sights on a new opponent. Let's get some straight now, we are boy, we are bad long time. After staying, Cartel continues to court trouble in his search for the hardcore heavyweight title. The skinny fast talker from Portmore baits fellow DJ Assassin at every opportunity, but Assassin doesn't bite. His fear and his intelligence is telling him to stay away from this one. You know what I mean, for the better and uh, the benefit of his career. <laughs> Throwing words is his specialty, but while Assassin takes evasive action, his Red Square pal Spraga Benz takes up the gauntlet. <laughs> Both DJs go for the jugular, taking their lyrical duel into the recording studio. In the demo, lean pan Assassin, you know, where Assassin did it, Martin Bergen. I come like him just this way, so we never too like that. But then, leave them to the moon, because assassin done, then assassin done reason for it. And I'm going to do my own thing, we're not business with the man right now. This program is as a elder in the business, you know what I mean? Took it up on himself to really um, intervene in, in, in a clash between two young artists, you know what I mean? Roach don't involve in a foul fight. While other DJs like Beanie Man and Bounty Killer do lucrative endorsement deals, corporate Jamaica boycotts cartel. They know that I can sell their products, but you know the whole corporate image and the whole thing that they have to maintain. They say, Vibes Cartel, break that image at stake. But to his fans, Cartel is more X-rated poet than warmongering thug. I read a lot of books. I just finished reading the Da Vinci Code with um, the other day. You know what I mean? It's a book about um, Freemasonry and, you know what I mean, secret societies all over the world. You know what I mean? It's a good book, you know what I mean? I read all kind of books. I read comic. You know what I mean? I watch cartoon, I watch Discovery Channel, I watch History Channel. I watch HBO, I watch BET. We live in an in in information age, internet, you know what I mean? So everything is just at your fingertips. So why not grasp it? A lot of, a lot of my fans, I know that I send them into the dictionary a lot because some words that I use, I know they have to go in the dictionary for those words. So I, I encourage my fans even to, to read and seek knowledge. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna be a top DJ like Vibes Cartel, and spitting all these gangster lyrics and all these X-rated lyrics. If you know, so at the end of the day, Vibes Cartel could have been a journalist, like the great Anthony Miller. I could have been a pilot, you know what I mean? It's just I chose this line, you know what I mean? So you still need up here. Still ahead, Cartel breaks with the Alliance and bad vibes with Movado. <laughs> The life we live, it all them poor. That's why them fight get a youth more and more. But remember, spell psychological. Don't guess what's thirteen percent of a million US. Don't said girl can't get a happiness if a pretty miss alone. Yeah, dopey princess. That that song really came about because I was listening to a, a talk show one morning and I heard them really, you know, what I mean, lashing out and vibes cartel and, and blaming me for for all the, the, the explicit activities of the kids on the school bus, you know what I mean? Clutching a notebook crammed with lyrics, Vibes Cartel makes the rounds, recording as usual at breakneck speed. This song was recorded at Arf Cooper Studio when Roach had the rhythm and he said he wanted a song talking about, you know what I mean? the suffering of poor people in the inner city community. Sidekick Roach, the first of many close associates, abruptly cut loose. When the dad said, go, what am I going to do? Roach, everything except dead people are real. You hear me and say, why are you nice? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's done here when Spraga say already. So the community where we grow where we grow up in, a, we know if we trust a nigga. Smile up in your face and behind your back, then pull the trigger. So I mean, I want no friend from you, you. It's much good, you know, because you don't know, you know, everybody knew them 15 minutes of fame and you got his. You know, we are famous for a lifetime, and that's all I got to say. Cartel a hit machine, but also trouble magnet. Closer ties with Beanie Man puts Cartel at odds with the alliance, with which the DJ breaks before embarking on a long-running feud with Bounty Killer loyalist Movado. Okay, you know, we never run from a challenge, never run from a clash, you know. Vibes Cartel is the warrior, and I always tell people these things in interview. 
of it. That I love clashing musically, lyrically. That's how I grew up listening to Ninja Man, Shabba, Supercat, Ninja Man, Flowagon, Red Dragon. You know what I mean? All clashing. Cabra, Mad Cabra from Portmore. So clashing for vibes title is fun and I love it. But in these latter days now, the clash didn't get too serious because artists letting their egos, you know what I mean, get the better of them. At the same time, Cartel's Portmore Empire also taking shape. Black Rhino, Dev Rock and Sean Stamp. That's the next gen of dancers. The Cartel Mavada feud widening to involve selectors targeted for playing the wrong song. A bugger Cartel play, bugger Mavada play, bugger Assassin, bugger everybody. And the beach, nice. Anybody can tell you. We play football, oh and something on the beach, nice. So how Cartel for come tell we about don't play no Mavada? Look how far away Mavada You can't tell with that youth. Oh, happy day. March 2007 and a truce is brokered between Cartel and Mavado after a flood of mutual lyrical dissing. The problem with it, why start that Mavado and Lyrics going to in our leader? Because so many times in this country, it ends up with people being dead or seriously injured. The gangster DJs and the party cop. Lights, camera, action. There's still records out there now by the name of Mafrado and Mr. Palmer. So once the lyrics don't change and once they don't really take ownership of what is happening, the situation is not going to improve. Everybody is all smiles, but in tried and tested dancehall fashion, rumors of peace were greatly exaggerated. Like War and Peace vets Bounty and Beanie before them, Cartel and Mavado were soon back on the warpath, this time with a vengeance. Jerky die, jerky die, jerky die. Jerk Tell him, don't ram with me, look up what. Some boy don't know about bad man thing, they're just sang right up. I'm a singer and I'm a DJ, I'm a man making on a career. Never come to work the blood on us, you're going to run and run and run and run. Jerky, we need for one. Tell him for going back to jerk turkey, you see? <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear this boy, you hear this song about mother this, mother that. That you want now. You see? Someone said them intelligent and they're easier to know. You know, no moral, you know. Like if you are DJ about my mother, you know. You just have to tell me if you just DJ the worst things about your mother, you know. You call your mother crying, you know, but you want me. You know. You're not going to do them things because he's an intelligent person, he's not an idiot. You can't tell him 5% near to my level. To reach a hundred. You understand? I'm not going to know where I hear nobody talk about Carter. Jamaica alone. Which part can make him friend and bother to select them and beat them up. To play him song them. Jamaica alone. When we step on people, we do it differently. Hey, singer, me, you are called songwriter. I'm a bad over Baba, where you put powder pan man face. I see him where the boy and the bad man has a scene. It's one of them scene, you can see me. Say your bad gun shoot up the Gaza. Reeling farmer, no clone, Mr. Palmer. Yo, Jeffrey, I heap. Wake them up like a tsunami. Go to the land, go to the land, go to the land. Rise the You have to understand, one in the same but two different things. So you don't talk about intelligence, blah, blah, blah. You have to know who you are talking about, the teacher. You see what I mean? I say, and you have to know say right now, young lad talk things, because I don't know if you get to you. I will say Javin show live right around the road from where you live. I will say Black Rhino. I will say Big Yard. I will say Hungry Town. Lockdown Gallings. I will say 12 Lane. If you know that, I will say Kingston 8. I will say Come on. What you say, you don't say nothing. Bill. From Adisha Palmer to Adi the teacher, to Vibes Cartel to Dancehall Notoriety. Got his introduction from Bounty Killer back in 2000. A bright spark with the gift of the gab, the lyrics flowed, but the friendship with the warlord withered. Has been taken in by the police several times. Lots of venom, but no visa. A hardcore hit machine with a product line. Kind of. I'm with the vibes, bro. Yes, it's a demand, though. Verdict, fearless and sharp, a lyrical mean machine. But his vibes cartel outsmarting even himself by taunting Mavado. Batten down the hatches. Take cover. Tonight, vibes vents. I will bring him to the world. I will do five songs with the barber. Them time the killer no look on him. I will make him feel like a star and drive him up and down in the beam and make people see him. So when you matter about bad man, he need to check himself. He does bad man cartel because them sister no matter what them do in an appliance. Them can't get out the teacher. The teacher is just always striving. 2000 when we know about the killer. Me was a nobody, a young artist. Bounty Killer was an icon, right? Then how come Bounty Killer take more than 15 songs from Vibes Cartel? Eh? Six years later now when Vibes Cartel become Vibes Cartel, I mean, you know, the barber boy, the dog face boy there. How comes when we give him the five songs them? He never said, boy DJ, I'm better than you still, you know. But may I take your five songs then? Talk to me now, Jamaica. Ready? Yeah, man. Here I go, play it. All right. Hey. 
I'm a tennis. You can't dump me on my mouth. You can't box me on my face. You know what? Anytime this barber brother try to war me, he always end up embarrassed. And then he's going to talk about me and call up his mother. Man. People, all this fear in love and war. You know, Shakespeare said that. I'm going to tell you the next thing to barber. You're talking about intelligent. And me tell you right now, I can bet you a million US. You can't spend intelligent. See, <laughs> see, for me for that. See, so no, you talk about the dancers DJ in the history, the dancers artists in the history of dance and music. So if you test a DJ and talk about you the far right, you know they know where you are. Coming here to Europe, you are trimming people on the gully side. Gully side. That's what I say. Renewed hostilities, a big shot in the arm for Sting. <laughs> Nothing is resolved. More bad blood in the new year. Even little kids square off. Gaza versus Gully as fans take sides. Scene set for new peace talks, this time at Jamaica House. 2009 and Ramping Shop featuring Spice makes Billboard's top 100 singles chart, but the song is banned in Jamaica. They just ban with immediate effect all songs containing bleeps. Without keeping a meeting, Mr. Miller. Meetings are kept with people of diplomacy. So obviously, the, the DC has us as some little unruly morons and some terrorists of society. The heavy hand of Gaza. The force that they went with, I urinated on myself. And clocks makes tracks when we return. Nobody. This are blood clocks. Like a blood clocks. The life we live, it hard and cold. That's why them fight get to you more and more. But remember, yo, yeah, Miller and I. Hey, Lee Miller. We can start it so. Yeah. Vibes Cartel, dominant DJ, but stuffed by controversy. The focus starting to switch from musical output to the dancehall star's heavy handed stewardship of his so called Portmore Empire. From them time until now, you know, do some else representing the ER. I don't know what he's saying, you know, from out of the Portmore Empire, I'm here to big up. A black rain, eh, hey, ER, you know, star we are. See the chance to have Portmore Empire for life. See there, I'm a woman named for me. See there, see the dad's there. The Gaza boss is rumored to demand absolute obedience from underlings. Dissension in the camp becomes public fodder when Gaza Kim goes public with claims of a brutal beating at the hands of the DJ's cronies. I heard that I informed about something and I don't know of what cause was I informing about. And while I'm getting the beaten, I'm there asking what have I done, what have I done, and all I can get is that I'm an informer. Four men beating a 19-year-old girl. That is very traumatizing. On the day when I was beaten, the force that they went with, I urinated on myself. It's the first on earth I've ever been hit in that kind of manner. Believe me when I tell you that. I go to school and I've never been hit by a teacher in that manner. I don't know if he was the one who ordered it to, to happen, but all I can say is that the day of the beating, when I was outside crying, he was there because he came out and he went straight into his car and he, he, he left from where the incident happened. So he was there. From, from ever since I'm going to that studio, he has never shown me a bad face or anything. He's always laughing with me when he sees me. He heal me, everything. Everything that's good, I don't have anything bad I can say about that man. He has done everything that I know that is good for me. So, I don't know what, I don't know. Well, I haven't even seen her from the incident, you know, or from the alleged incident. So put your money where you're out there. ER didn't give up. So I'm second, kind of 2010. But neither did Cartel say much more. New style. Well, I don't really know, and because my, and the advice of my lawyer, it has already reached a legal stage, so I know comment answer would be most appropriate. Ready, ready for get of it, man. But his hold over previously loyal lieutenants is dealt another blow as Black Rhino to jobs ship. Who then? Sick of it, man. Looks here right now. Tommy, come look here. Uh -uh. Well, actually, yes. Maybe because of this, charred clothes and household items. His mother wasn't there at the time, but said Rhino's Winchester Avenue apartment was attacked twice this week. First. They hit out the windows with those three stones set the doorway, those three big stones. Then after they came back, between last night to this morning, I really don't know what time because I wasn't here. And they firebombed the place back and front. Rhino's mom was asked about a possible motive for the torching. Well, honestly, I think it's because he's kicked with the Empire. I just think that is the only reason. An apparent act of intimidation about which Black Rhino would not talk. No, I don't know of none of them. None of the above. 
you know, none of the other. Don't know, big up vibes start till Sedway because I'm a DJ and I inbox man, I'm a girl, I'm a DJ, you see what I say? Because you don't know. You see me, I bring me to the world, like, I make Jamaica and, and overseas now, and give me visa and them things, so. but you don't know, dog. No, I did it, they did it, you see me? Right now, I'm afraid right now. Why? 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 Carter seemingly unruffled by the latest defection drafts new recruits. Do Empire members have to obey your every word? When it comes to music and when it comes to how the Empire is run as a unit, of course. Very much so. You know what I mean? Because as I said before, any organization that you have, you have rules and you have regulations and you have to abide by the rules and regulations or face dire consequences. Not physical beatings, uh, 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 abouts of torture as it is rumored in the streets. You but know? you wouldn't take orders from Bounty Killer, so some Empire members won't take orders from you, so hey, what's that, wrong with that? Hey, that's a very good question, you know, but you have to understand, you know, Vice Cartel was in the Alliance for six to seven years. Vice Cartel is an artist that, that honed his craft for six to seven years. Vice Cartel is an artist that when he left the, um, the Alliance, he could farm his own entity, which is support my empire. Let's see the rest of them do that. When you get the new plots, the daddy, oh. wish color that. Clarks, meanwhile, yields yet another chart topper for the razor sharp lyricist. Clarks are a dancehall hot stepper. Real bad man, I'm a clean of shots. Straight jeans, cut off your pants. Everybody ask me, when me get me clocks. Real bad man, I'm a clean of clocks. My day in a hot skull. Yo, but tell me something. And where you get a new clock, say daddy? Downtown Kingston and their clocks selling on the road. In stores, clocks in cars. Yo, I mean, I'm telling you, the clocks, them get up if them sit down. All right, you know, the clocks. I'm gonna move hard. I'm gonna miss it, but this is a bank robber. Oh, summer grind. Then you have to have 10 for have this, yeah? We get a million applications a day for someone who wants to join the empire, but it's just the energy, you know what I mean? And, and that is the, the, the key element in, in, in determining how an artist is going to be a hit. Everything from me know him. Everything you want me to learn, I teach me. Clocks me prefer. Clocks for the leather, yeah. Clocks for the fur. Clocks for the summer, clocks for the winter. How is vibes treating you? I don't see any bruises on you. No. 100% guys are security, you know. Vibes, I'm a boss. I'm a daddy, I'm a party. Beset by allegations of rough treatment meted out to less than devoted crew members, Cartel also gets flack for his use of skin lightning agents as well as dabbling in the dark arts, links to masonry, and generally being a different sort of DJ. When I use the cake soap, we don't care what Cartel has said. We burn cake soap, we burn bleaching. I wouldn't say nothing to her because, as I said before, I don't really discuss artists in this other way around. Vice Cartel is in the spotlight, Vice Cartel is on the pinnacle, so I will be discussed by, by those of a lesser caliber. You know what I mean? But what I can really say about her is she never did so brown a couple years ago. So I really know. <laughs> Not everyone's amused. Among them, Dr. Imani Tafari Amo, who's done research into the psychological effects of skin bleaching. Do you think Vice Cartel feels inferior because he's black? I think so. And even if he doesn't consciously admit that, it is a way of showing that he's, he's not entirely comfortable. Otherwise, why would he change? If he says it's just a gimmick, then we can understand that from an economic point of view because gimmicks in his world, in the entertainment world, make money. In our society, value is added to color in terms of brownness, having more value. Then the person who bleaches will always say, well, you know, they get more look upon and more look apart because people think that they're sexier and nicer. But ask them if they have more money in the bank. As a result, I think they will tell you no. Black people are in their skin to me stand amount to white people getting a suntan. My mother been washing with cake soap when she was much younger and it never bleaches her hand. So I know the cake soap bleach clothes but it's not strong enough to bleach a pigment of skin. So I guess they have some new... No, this one is a bummer. I guess they have some blasting device in it that blasts out the pigment of skin. But any excess action is going to have an excess reaction. So if you use anything in excess, you know where I got me. If you drink too much rum, you have a drunk. So were you using this product to excess to get this new look that you Yeah, have? man, because as you know, Vice Cartel, uh, you want know Anthony Miller. Anything with me, I do, I don't do my thing, you know. So right now, you don't know, Vice Cartel always a, a change of image. And this is my new style for the new millennium, for the new 011. And the girls, them love it, and the guys are fans, them love it, you know what So I mean? what, you're going to revert to your original skin color, you think, after you've, after you've sort of moved beyond the fat aspect of this Yeah, I mean, soap? Well, you know, as I said before, you know, you can't expect the unexpected from Vice Cartel. So you probably next year can't see me at but Bounty Killer was saying this could not be achieved by cake soap, that you, that you are on something else, an injection or some heavier duty medication. No, we're not taking an injection, we're not taking a pill. And you have to understand, you know, we're not really discuss artists. You know. It's entertainment, and it's all about a look. You understand? And that is his look. Bleaching is it's just the in thing right now, right? And he chose to do it, so why not? I'm not going to see how we're not wrong with him, though. 
Everybody got their own thing. Everybody will their own life. Nothing wrong. Man is not supposed to bleach a knife. It's women. We're born with beautiful black skin. And if artists do these things, they're going to influence the community to do the same thing. It's not just the kicks of issues.